more. But before that, I'd like to take a minute to just acknowledge how the pandemic and the last two years have been really difficult for everyone. And uh, it's really amazing and I'm really glad to see some semblance of normalcy today and to be at an event like this with all these amazing people, right? Yeah, absolutely. Firstly, hi everyone. Okay, I promise I won't be as funny as the rest of the people that you're used to watching here. And, uh, but feel free to laugh at Angad and me any, at any time. Because I laugh at Angad all the time and he laughs at me all the time. So it's allowed. Uh, let's keep Sherry out of this one. Are we good? Yeah. I have a feeling that every two minutes we'll just do like, you know what I love? A stage pe kuch bhi bol do, but do teen minute ke baad na sab bo kar dena hai. Woo! Ah, yeah. Yeh wala, yeh wala. Thank you. If we don't hear a woo after every answer, we're not going forward, right? Um, <laughs> woo! <laughs> okay, guys, let's talk about social distancing, okay? I've given them a gist about the show, but obviously they want to hear from you guys. What is the show about? What can they expect? Neha, you want to go first? Or Angad, you want to go first? Yeah. Uh, the show in deals with the uh, modern day relationships uh, in the backdrop of the pandemic. It's an extremely real, hilarious uh, drama. It's got great romance. Uh, it's a, uh, it's a actually a no holds barred show. It's about this uh, couple, uh, the character Raghavan Rao, his wife Savi, how they deal with the pandemic, how they had dreams when they were, you know, living a different life, and uh, Savi really helps him build his dreams. And now they lead a very lavish life in Dubai. But then uh, Raghavan Rao being a very, uh, he's, uh, he's actually in love on the side with his secretary. Uh, I love how you put it, he's love on the, in love on the side with his secretary. He genuinely secretary. believes in that. And uh, that character's name is Anaya. And how he wants to, uh, you know, come hail, come storm during the pandemic. Though he's in Dubai, he wants to reach India just to be with him. And the lies he tells his wife so that he can escape Dubai. So Neha, is he a good liar or not? Uh, I mean, uh, I don't know. Me or Raghavan? Let's just play a game with everyone. Now that we know what social distancing is about, it, uh, I'm going to keep bashing this so that everyone hears this right to the end. It releases on Audible. Can we just repeat key words? It releases on Audible. Releases Where on? Where does it release, guys? <laughs> Alright, and this is a date that a lot of us will remember on the 14th of Feb. Which is? <laughs> Yes. Okay, and speaking of Valentine's Day, are there any married men here? How many? There are raise your hands, come on. Okay, don't okay. be shy, guys. Raise your hands. And uh, please take your hands down only after my next question. Any married men here? Keep your hands up. We want to see your, your hands, hands up. up. All right, and my next question is. Uh, my sympathies with you all. Uh, my <laughs> next question is. Uh, only leave your hands up in the air if you're having an extramarital affair. Oh, oh, hey. Oh, hey. 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 Ritesh, Sanket, Sanket, Sankesh, Sanket, or Instagram handle batana zara. Boss, his ke DM se bach ke rena. He's checking. Sanket five eight nine four 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 nine. Thank you for being a good sport, Sanket. That, Thank you, Sanket. But we are going to check your Instagram handle. <laughs> so, guys, speaking of the pandemic, okay? So you obviously. Uh, lived through the lockdowns, the pandemic together for two years. And how was that for you guys? Was it stressful? Was it hard? Was it similar to the show? Different? It was not stressful as, I mean, a lot was going on on the outside, but it was not stressful for me because I was cooking. It was very stressful and hard for Angad because he was eating all the cooking. So that's why I feel bad for him because I'm the worst cook in the world. The worst. She makes really good banana bread. And he likes it well done. That's what he likes to say, but it's actually burnt all the time. Jal jati thi. But that's what I also say. I like it like that. That's why I've made it like that. <laughs> yeah, so it was, it, was, it, it was hard. I mean, it was hard for everybody. I feel like the lockdown was really tough. But uh, when it 
Why do I feel like I'm, am I screaming or is it normal? Huh? Normal. She said worth it. You said worth it. I am screaming. Yes, I am screaming. You should try and live with her. Try living with her. <laughs> yeah, in the middle of a fight also I keep asking Amar, am I screaming or is it normal? <laughs> he never says worth it. <laughs> That's, that's the new response you need to have, Angad. When no, she says, am I screaming? You have to say, it's worth it. Keep screaming. No, he never says it's worth it. If he says that, it's go all screaming, screaming. So, Angad, how was your experience through the pandemic? Uh, living with her? Yeah. Uh, well, uh, it was very, very different. It was unique. Our ko most time, uh, three years. We had worked so much, we were you know, professionally so busy that we hardly had... Yeah, that's, that's our cue to keep quiet. <laughs> you can go ahead, don't worry. They can hear. You can hear us, right guys? Can you hear us? Can you hear us? Okay. So yeah, for, for me to live with her, we were uh, so busy working that we didn't have time. Even when we got married, uh, we didn't... Uh, you know, travel anywhere because uh, we just we were really busy professionally and just they, when the pandemic happened, we were stuck in one apartment, um, you know, with each other and obviously we had a beautiful daughter Meher, so she made it, she made it relatively easy, it wasn't easy to, you know, what the world was going through, what we were going through, it was very, very tough. But at the same time, it was nice to spend time with your partner, it was nice to explore a different side, because uh, you don't get the time to you know really get to know one another because you so you know uh, here we did chores together we did a lot of dishwashing together we cooked together uh, I uh, saw a different side to her which was that she's a fabulous cook she uh, you know apart from banana bread she also did uh, make a few many other things so yeah it was it was all worth it by the end of it. guys is Angad husband of the year or what <laughs> Guys, I also want to tell you, husband of the year ka short form hota hai, haughty. <laughs> Kisne kiya? Oh, you whoo! Thanks. <laughs> Apna bhi naam aur Instagram de, uh, handle de na. <laughs> Yaad se. So, as actors, guys, obviously, you know, the first thing you look at is a script and you either decide to do a job or not. So, what was your first takeaway when you kind of got involved and what did you see in your character that made you really want to kind of portray these characters? So, I didn't have much to do that was different from me. Like, I was just, uh, you know, like a wife who's, who does things uh, on schedule, who's, who's mildly, like, suspicious and mildly disinterested after many, many years of marriage. Just so, uh, suspicious. Slightly, mildly. Shaky. The one who has spotted in the audience right now, let's just like whole team time please kar de hum pe because I have spotted our director who is sitting right here. That's Simran Singh is Singh, our director, our director. If you could stand up. Yes, Simran, a clap for her please. Come on guys, we get away with that. And I want to tell you that not only is she the nicest uh, person, the most talented director, but also has one of the sexiest voices in the business. Yeah. Mike Doom. Inka, ek bar hello, sun lo ke na, to wahi me kya chaoge? Hello, bolo. Mike dena, mike dena, mike dena. Ek bari hello bolo, Simran. Hi guys. Hello. Oh. Inna ni jo hamara hand pakad pakad ke humko sikhaya hai ki audio me kaam kaise karte hain, how we can take this medium forward, um, and what she has done to Chetan Bhagat's writing uh, is is just amazing. It's amazing. But yeah, Savi is my character. She's like most Savi, sorry. As my character, she's she's like most of the women who would react in a certain way when there's a lockdown. So similarities between you and Savi. Yeah, she's similar and, and I'm different Shakti. and I feel like once, Shakti. Shakti. once we have, we're married for 11 years, I don't know whether I'll be Shakti or whether I'll be disinterested. But I could be either or. Yeah, I am that kind of person. <laughs> or both. Angad, <laughs> what was your first takeaway when you read the script? I just thought it was fabulous. Uh, the way it is written, it was hilarious, literally. There's great drama. Uh, while I was reading it, not at one moment uh, in while I was reading it, I thought that I was I was not liking Raghavan Rao. He was just making me laugh through from the beginning to the end, and he was so adorable in his all his mistakes and how he was and 
you know, in all that commotion, he's trying to lie, he's trying to escape, yet he's trying to come back to his wife, then he's trying to go to his girlfriend. It is just crazy what he's doing. And I just, something like this I've not done, you know. Uh, and then for me to be in one room and then being guided by Simran from the other side, uh, whether it was in voice modulation or in emotion, and how to bring that character alive. Because see, it's, it's you got to make your own world, right? Not just say the lines. So you got to feel those lines also. And I, I feel that uh, if you're in the hands of a, such able uh, director as Simran, then uh, you can feel really, really secure. Uh, so for me, it's been my most, I just you feel, uh, endearing uh, character that I have been portrayed till date. And uh, I'm in love with Raghavan Rao, with all his shortcomings and all his flaws. I love the man. Seriously, are we applauding a man who's having an extramarital affair in the middle of the lockdown? This is the problem with the two of you. Our directors <laughs> and our lead actor, actor are hand in love. <laughs> and I am always fighting this battle that let's be the right person here. It's amazing. I can see Audible right in front of me. <laughs> So Neha, this is not the first time obviously you've done audio, you've done audio before, right? So how was this different for you and Angad, since this was your first time, did you take any tips from Neha? <laughs> I took one tip, which was to uh, not be in the same room when Neha is dubbing for it. Uh, so, you know, that hats off to our director to understand that she said that, you know, you guys uh, will work well together if you are not dubbing together. So I, you know, so we were, we, was, we, yeah, we were put in different rooms, we were put on different days and uh, whenever she was performing, for me it was very natural to re respond and react to her voice because I do that 365 days in a year. And then there were a lot of times where we had to fight in the show and then I was like, oh, naturally, Nikhil Whoa. and I was like, what am I supposed to do? And she's like, just think of your husband and then we were just fighting. So yeah. Just flow naturally. Flow. But you know, I have done audio before. I have like, you know, um, uh, produced and hosted an audio talk show. I know that there is a market, it gets consumed. I know that people love listening to, uh, it, it, it's, it also, you know, I feel like there's a lot of screen time fatigue that's set in. So audio is a great way forward and this is great content like I, I'm not saying it because I'm a part of it. Yes, I am saying it because I am a part of it, but I'm also saying it because I love being a part of it. It's such a great read as well. And I think Chetan Pagat and Mayur Puri have done a great job. Also when you, you're just, it's a one-on-one -on -one relationship with you and the mind. So whether it is your breath, whether it's your sur, you know, uh, it's like however you perform, it all gets captured. You can hear it. So you are very, very vulnerable at that particular moment. And uh, just to, uh, there's so many flaws that you see that you want to keep on doing it again. And it's, it's for me, it's been very, very, an experience which I'll never forget. I wish, Simran, you take me for more of these because I finally started enjoying it. I remember the first day, I was harrowed. I had no clue where I was landing. But eventually, I think... But now you want to do more, right? You're like, yeah, this is... I yeah, and I feel like it's the same thing. You just have to convert into, like, consuming part Yeah, so that's my audio. next question for you guys. Like, I know you guys have been in the industry for years. You've obviously done a lot of video. Um, so how is your prep different for, you know, like an audio-only part? Like, to get into character. I know with video, obviously, you have so many different things in terms of the look, the feel. Do you do the same stuff for this as well? Like, for me, like, there's no prep. Like, you just succumb to the director, you succumb to the writing material and time will be done. Then it will be done. And you will get out of your mouth. You will get out of your mouth. I also think that if everything happens in life, then what happens in the camera or somewhere else, or 2-4-10 times, then it will feel bad for you. So just go with it. I mean, Simran will know. I mean, there was hardly... She would just say, I'll come and come. And then the rest of it was done. Like, do it, 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 do but yeah, 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 kiss him all about? Bye! One more time. Instagram handle, tell me. Handle or now? Okay. So guys, what was the most challenging and the most fulfilling part of doing this? Also, I mean, I know you guys are married, so how was it working with each other? Like, was it stressful or not stressful? Sherry, you are very smart. You are the answer to your question. Most challenging part was working with Ankur. Was being married and working. The best part was working with Ankur. Because there were times when I would just be like, Angad, can you just keep recording for two extra hours today? I don't feel like coming. So it's so easy with your husband. Otherwise, you're like, oh, what will he think about it? So you take advantage of it. But at the same time, it's very annoying also to be in the same room as me. Right? <laughs> I was going to say you. Angad is like, it's a good thing she is saying it. Time up, I think.
Well, for me, I think the best and the worst part was working with my husband because, you know, sometimes you take too many liberties when you're working with your own people and sometimes you can take those many liberties, so it's easy. What about you, Angad? Most fulfilling and most stressful part? Most to be honest or should I? What do you be completely honest? Most challenging is to work with my wife. You know, it is extremely challenging. Now, you can, what, you this is Comic people, Con, you can call, say what you were saying about me in the green room. I will not do my work with my wife again. See, she's saying attention please. But uh, jokes apart, uh, jokes apart, I feel, uh, you know, this has been my first time that I've uh, shared, uh, I would say a mic then, if it's uh, audio. You know, with the audible, yeah, I've shared a mic with her and uh, uh, I've heard her perform and it's uh, it's very, very, uh, like I feel that if what she brought to the table as far as the performance and the voice is concerned, I just responded very naturally to that. So I think my first instinct was uh, what I, which I went for, went with and usually if your co-actor doesn't make you feel comfortable, it gets very tough. So here it was all very, very natural. Our love is natural. Our love and our love are also And did you guys take one like, like, you know, it's very difficult when you work with your spouse because then when you, a lot of people like completely disconnect at home and be like, we don't want to discuss this, we don't want to, you know, work at home. So was it like a clear, like, we're working here, we're at home here, or was it like just no, no, a party this or a... No, no, uh, She has this wonderful way of asking you, ki, Acha, how was your day at shoot? But the minute I start to answer that question, she switches off. So I think she does that for the sake of kabhi kabhi hota na ki pooch rete politely lekin then her answer in the conversation she's talking about just other things. No, no, I'll ask him how was, how was your day, Angad? How was the shoot? And suddenly I'll be like, oh, kal ye yellow dal bana de na, uske saath tum aisa karna thara. Because I, I had to do so many things. And and how was your day at shoot? Oh, by the way, you know, my head did this or Gurik say, oh, lada yoga hi or phir a logon ko school jana pada. Or phir, you know, oh, by the way, we have to go tomorrow to this place and make sure that you're there on time. So I don't know which way this conversation. No, but I'll, I'll definitely, I'll definitely listen to the show. Angad is great, and it is what I hear. And uh, for him, I'm a, I'm a fan uh, of uh, Angad, so I'll definitely listen. <laughs> no, but Angad has a has a way of like bringing his work back home. Well, then I don't bring your work back home. He brings his work back home, and he'll keep watching his own shows or listening. So he's like, every time I ask him, he's like, I'm just studying my character. So he takes himself very seriously. And I'm the opposite. So we have nothing in common as, as people at work. Time up. Yeah, I, I just feel it is very good because uh, if two actors or people being in the same profession do the same thing, work in, in a work-related atmosphere, and then they bring it home, it, it gets too tedious. You know, there's a, like, the refreshing part is that it's a argument you know, a ho, but it's different, you know, so it's also, it's, it's a good way of switching off so that you can switch back on. Okay, now, Neha, do you think you would react like Savi if Angad was having an affair in real life, like, as for your characters and, uh, you know, what uh, we've heard on the show? This is a little bit of knowledge, but reaction, I just say Guys, I have a question to ask you. How many, chalo, not married men, how many of you have girlfriends? Raise your hands. Nahi pas aam kiya. Eki bande ka girlfriend. Eki bande ki kaise girlfriend ho sakti hai? Nobody has a girlfriend here. Aap patriyo. Nahi, nahi, uska haath sabse pehle khada hoa tha. Acha, aap respect to utha hai. Why are you raising your hand? Aap, girlfriend ne bola isle, aap utha hai. Okay, 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 Girlfriends, partners, spouses. And yeah. Raise your hands. Girls have boyfriends. Okay, how many of you are taken? Hand kar kar do. Bade kam hai. In 2024 mein log samajhdar hoge lag. Kya? We are the minority. Okay. Now I want to ask you. Don't take your hands down. Firstly, though, I find it very difficult to believe that there are six people taken in this audience. Acha. Comic con. We are comic con. The yahan sab galat bolenge. Acha, theek hai. Now, take your hand on after my next question. And how many of you have ever got caught cheating? Bye! 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 Oh, and he's got such a big smile. He's like me. I thought everyone...
everyone will take your hands down. You know, but I just feel that I don't know how I will react and I'm hoping I never see that day. But Obviously not. Yeah. I mean, all, but, I mean, of course, we're just making light of this and I feel in... in, in if you ask me that question also, how would I feel? How like would you I, react? I don't why it's always rooted towards uh, the no, men. No, because it's, it's that Raj. Cheat, right? You're the cheater. All men here. You're the cheater. All men here. You're the cheater. All men here. All men here. Louder. All men here. Yes. Now, why should. I have a question. Like here, I've been asked this question that how because will they react? Because of your react? character. Because Hold of your character. I've been asked this question, how will Neha react? So, why is it? That every time men ask this question, ki agar aap cheat karoge apne partner pe, to how will the woman react? Kabi mokha hona chahiye na ki aapko bhi aisa kuch feel ho? Hona chahiye ki nahi? Jitne mere se sahmat hai, sab haath khade karo. How would you react, Angad? Okay, Angad, now that you've gone full gusto with the audience, now you answer the question. Chalo, I'm out of this oh, one. I'll be heartbroken. I will be. And I feel that it is... Uh, I'm honest about my feelings and I, it's not that I don't know. I know I will be heartbroken and I, I just feel that my self-confidence will take a huge amount of beating. So I just feel that it is, it is uh, aksar or everybody, like, you know, you men should not cry, men should not, yes, men are vulnerable, men are soft, men are, you know, go through the same hardships as women do. But I just feel that at some level, they are not given due credit for that. And I feel that it's not just about men cheating. It's any partner who is unfulfilled in whichever way, he or she, and if they stray, and it's usually it always comes to the men, but you know, moving forward, it, it's coming to the women also. That's, that's why I'm trying to say Angad has nothing in common with the character that he plays. And this is why Angad Angad is Woohoo! Okay, guys, I have one last, okay? You have to complete the sentence, okay? Oh, okay. Okay. It's just one line. You have to tell them, you should listen to social distancing because... Because it is the best thing that I've ever been part of. It's got romance, it's got drama, it's got a lot of laughter. And if you want to laugh and feel happy about your day, just hear social distancing. We have what about you? Um, you should listen to social distancing because um, it's the coolest new um, social comic drama, uh, romantic comic drama that you'll hear. And it's on Audible. And yeah, because it's got Angad and me. And also and it's got everybody's, like whatever you're feeling inside, your inner feelings, this, these characters are going through that. And I also think that... So you all, whoever is sitting here in the audience or whoever will hear this show, you will see yourself in this show. Yeah, and more importantly, if, which we all have been through a lockdown, and just to relive the lockdown in the most fun and real way, listen to social distancing. I promise you it will bring things back to you, but in the best way possible. And it's an audible 14th film. So everyone can relate to it. Everyone has to listen to it. And before we go away, I have a surprise message for all of you guys. Are you lesson ready to listen yes, to it? Yes, we are. Can we have the message, please? Oh, hi. Wow. Who's here? America, I'm sitting here. Audio. Audio, hello, though. Hi. Um, what a pleasure to be here. Uh, virtually, I would have, of course, loved to be there in person. But uh, unfortunately, I had to be away. I'm in New York right now, and I had to be here for some urgent work, because of which I am not able to be there live today. But I just want to tell you, I'm damn excited to share with you something very unique that I've written. This time, it's not only unique in terms of what I've written, but also it's unique in terms of the format it's coming out in. I'm sure you had a chance to meet my friends, uh, Neha and Angan, who have uh, voiced and enacted for the audio drama Savi and Drags in my new show, Social Distancing. Uh, it's an audible original. And it's absolutely fun way to consume a drama, which is through audio. It's not just someone reading out an audio book. It's not something, uh, it's something you haven't experienced before, really. It's like, in a way, a movie, but it's done over audio. It has actors, it has special effects, it has modes, it has everything. And you can do it while just listening and going about your daily life, driving, you know, walking, gym, holding clothes, or just sitting and relaxing. 
Um, social distancing, uh, let me tell you, it's a drama, it's a comedy. I felt there's not enough comedies out there. And it's a comedy of what happened to relationships uh, during COVID times. You know, we, we talk, of course, about COVID now, all the bad things that happened in terms of the health issues. But we all know that relationships were never the same again because of COVID. So I think it's something you'll have a lot of fun listening to. You'll really enjoy it. You'll love the new format. I think Audible has done a great job producing it and uh, bringing it to life. Uh, I do love movie adaptations, but what happens in movies is it doesn't leave anything to imagination. Everything is presented to you. But here, even though there are actors and it's fun to consume the story or through audio drama, there is still some imagination uh, of yours that is going to be used in terms of how do you imagine their house, their settings, uh, their adventures, whatever else. So I think you'll really uh, love to see all that. And I think this format is here to stay and become a part of our life. I think you will really enjoy listening to it. I hope you listen to it and give me the feedback also. And to Neha, Anwar, and the entire team as well. And uh, I will be just waiting for you and your reaction to the same. And I do hope next time at Comic Con, I'm there myself. I'll make sure I am. Till then, uh, you know, be well, stay healthy, and enjoy the rest of the event. All the best to the entire team. Neha, Anwar, thank you once again. Take care. That was Chetan Bhagat, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Neha. Thank you, Angad, for Thank you. this. Where are you guys listening to this? On? When? If you don't listen to the 14th Feb, you'll listen to the next day. You'll listen to the next day. You'll listen to the next day. It's going to be there. Thank you, guys. Have a good evening. We're going to Thank leave you, you with Thank the trailer. You Enjoy. Oh, Let's go! Oh, we're seeing it for the first time. Comedy or a tragedy? Depending on where you stop telling it. Savvy, Rax, I want both of you to close your eyes and think of a time when you were happy. Like, really, really happy. I'm stepping into the show. Join me? Of course. I can't take not seeing you. You make me feel alive. You make me feel like a woman again. Oh, I forgot to mention. Happy together. So, what did you see then? I couldn't tell Savi what I just saw. Savi, I can't say. What do you mean you can't say? She's asking you something. Just take it seriously, Rags. Okay, 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 okay. One more try. Last try, yeah? Yeah. So breathe in. Breathe out. Just you, me, and the ocean. It's beautiful. Anaya. What? Anaya. Who's Anaya? His office manager. I love Anaya. Your office manager makes you happy. Exactly. Yes. Oh my God. Just so. Wait a minute, so your office manager makes you happy? Not your son, not me, not your life, your cigars? Don't think I don't know about it, Shubha. Cut it out, Rags. Sorry, I love you, and I mean the best way, but this but I can't. Rags, so, you can't be serious. The thing about telling the truth is that timing is everything. Look, I, I, I'll tell you what. Guys, listen. I'll, I'll come, I'll pack my things. Rags, come on, hear yourself. What do you mean you pack your things? Go away, guys. What do you mean? I'll come on, Rags, please. Guys, Rags. listen. What? I think you should check your phones. Why? Now, I can't tell you what happens next. If our story is a comedy or a tragedy. Well, all I can tell you is that this little plot twist was about to drive us all bad shit crazy. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you. We're just going to repeat everything we said. It's an audible on the 14th of Feb. Uh, it's called Social Distancing. And thank you all. Please enjoy your evening. This is great. Thank you and, for your time. All, all, the, all the guys here. I said something there. Don't think I don't know about your chomu. So, understand what I'm saying. All right? It's not always about the men. Can we hear it for Neha and Angad one last time, guys? Thank you. Thank Bye you for guys. being amazing. Have a good evening.